Hello everyone, myself Manish Sharma from Marpeti campus. In today's class, I discuss about the Pharmacy Act. First is the content, introduction, history of the Act. Third is Pharmacy Council of India. Fourth is the State Pharmacy Council. And special provision of the Act, offense and penalties, conclusion and references. First is introduction, an act to regulate the profession of pharmacy. The act was promulgated in the year 1948. The Pharmacy Bill 1947 having been passed by the legislature received its asset on 4th March 1948. It came on the status book as the Pharmacy Act 1948, 8 of 1948. Next definitions. Central Council, State Council, Central Registered Medical Practitioner, Registered Pharmacist. History of Pharmacy Act. Great harm to the health of the pupils due to early 20th century, no restriction to the practice of pharmacy and poor quality of services, absence of recognized curriculum. The following statement of the object and reasons of the pharmacy bill was published in Gadget of India, 1947, part 5, page 469. It is the desirable that, as the most other countries, only person who have attained a minimum standard of professional education should be permitted to practice the profession of pharmacy. It is accordingly proposed to establish a central council which will prescribe the minimum standard of education and approve course, courses of study and examination for pharmacists and provincial pharmacy council which will be responsible for the maintenance of the provisional register of qualified pharmacists. It is further proposed to empower provisional government to prohibit the dispensing of medicines on the prescription of a medical practitioner otherwise than by or under the direct and personal supervisions of a registered pharmacist. So they, these are all the following statement of object and reasons of the pharmacy bill was published in Gazette of India in 1947. Next is the objective. Objective regulating and raising the status of profession of pharmacy in India providing uniform education and training to the person willing to enter the profession of pharmacy, maintaining the control over the persons entering the profession of pharmacy. Pharmacy Council of India, the PCI was first constituted in the year 1949, reconstituted every five years, composition, elected members, nominated members, ex officio members. First is the elected member, six member elected by UGC from teaching profession, one member elected by the MCI, one member elected by State Pharmacy Council. Next is the nominated member, six member nominated by the central government and one representative each UGC and AICT, one registered pharmacist each state and union directory. Ex officio members the Director General of Health Services, the Director of Central Drug Laboratory and the Drug Controller of India. Next is the Executive Committee. The President of Council, the Vice President of the Council, five other members elected by the Central Council from among its members. Apart from this, the Council also appoints a registrar, other officers and servants for carrying out its st the statutory function. So in today's class, I discuss about the Pharmacy Council of India and history of Pharmacy Act and their introduction. Thank you for watching.